5 or an iPhone 5S and you just can't get over the loss of your BlackBerry keyboard, you might be interested in this device. I'm Jessica Dalcourt for CNET here at CES 2014 in Las Vegas. This is the Typo Keyboard Case. Now this is a $100 plastic device that slides over your iPhone and it connects in the back. It's got open exposed area so you can still get at your charger, your headset jack, your camera, and all of your buttons on the side. It does connect to the iPhone via Bluetooth and this device has its own charger. The Bluetooth connection is important because it means that whatever you type registers on the screen. Now the device maker claims that the battery is strong enough to last about 7 to 10 days on a single charge. That of course is going to depend on how you use the phone. Looking at the keyboard, it is very clear that this is taken from a BlackBerry device. In fact, the company has already been sued, but they're going to go ahead and ship this in about two weeks anyway. Now I only used it for a few seconds, a couple minutes at most, and I found that the keys were pretty responsive. It is a little bit interesting of a design. Uh, it definitely feels a little different because the case extends beyond the bottom of the phone and even the keys on the side extend a little bit beyond the side of the phone. Although it was responsive, I found that I wasn't very accurate typing, but this is something that I assume you or me or anybody else would grow used to over time as they start using the phone. One thing you might be wondering is how you actually navigate on the phone if you've got this bulky keyboard here on the bottom that's blocking the home key. There's actually a key right here that you can press. It gets you to sort of a modified view. You can get into the folders this way, navigate as usual, or when you're done typing, you can of course take off the case. I'm not sure how often I'd want to slide the case on and off again, but it is an option for people who just really can't live without their physical QWERTY keyboard. For CNET, I'm Tessica Dalcourt taking a look at the typo case here at CES. You can find out about everything else we've covered here at the show at CNET.com.